Thank you for tuning in to Go On You Extreme. I'm Alyssa Thomas, joined here with junior goaltender Clay Wood. Clay, thank you for joining us here today. No, thank you. Imagine if someone knew nothing about college hockey or about how it's played in the city of Boston. How would you describe the bean pot to them? Um, I would say it's just uh, you know a bunch of different uh, rivaled schools going at it, and I think uh, it's, it's definitely like a fun prize to uh, to uh, to be able to participate in, and uh, something that you'd have to see to kind of understand it fully. But um, I think like more, I know I've talked about it to a lot of people down in Florida, and they don't they don't really understand it. And they're like, oh, well, okay, it's just a tournament, whatever. But when you when you finally see it in person, it's pretty it's pretty spectacular. So, take me through Bean Pot Game Day. What's the anticipation and build up towards that? Um, obviously this might be my first one actually playing in, but um, from what I've seen, it's just, uh, you know, it's a little different than having the 5 o'clock game, just because of the fact it's a little different schedule than, you know, the normal 7. I mean, same thing if you play an 8 o'clock, a little different schedule, but, uh, you know, usually, usually just try to go through your same routine for, like, big games such as, such as this, and just, uh, I don't know, one thing after another, next you know it's game time and you're going, so. And talk about the opportunity with getting to play hockey at the TD Garden. I meant it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's where the pros play. What's that experience going to be like for you? Um, it's going to be it's going to be a cool experience. I uh, luckily actually, I think it was two years ago I got to play in the consolation game. So it's not my not my first time at the Garden, but definitely it's going to be cool. It's uh, it's going to be yeah, definitely a very cool experience. What are you personally most looking forward to with the Bean Pot this year? Um, I would say just just the energy that the fans bring. I think that's the coolest part. You just see, you know, you see your quarter of uh, quarter of the stands, and you, they're all jacked up and they're ready to go, and they're chanting at the other side. But uh, I think that's that's always a fun part to see from the bean pot. Is just the energy, the energy it brings. Northeastern's always the underdog with going into these games or anything to the season. So far, you've proved a lot of people wrong with how you've been playing, how Northeastern's been playing, and sitting now at second in the Hockey East rankings. Are you, does that light anything under any of you with going forward to playing in the bean pot here? Um, no, not really. I'm just, you kind of focus on your game and uh, when it gets down to it, it doesn't, none of that stuff really matters. It's all kind of back noise. So when you're in the moment, it, uh, you kind of, everything kind of goes up in the air. So The last time that Northeastern won a bean pot was in 1988. Do you feel any type of pressure any season with going in and trying to win one this year? Or what would that mean to you if you did get to win one? Uh, it would it would mean the world to to win one. I think uh, it would definitely uh, definitely make I, it would it would be fun to see Huntington Avenue uh, jacked up after a nice one a nice win of being pot. So, but I mean again like I, I don't I don't feel that uh, I, you know like I'm responsible for whatever how many years it is. So I, this is my first one and I, we're gonna, I'm gonna do my best and I've I've luckily enough to like see a few and um, kind of know how to go about it from there. Thank you for tuning in and be sure to check out the Huskies in action as they take on Harvard University for the 62nd annual Bean Pot Tournament held February 3rd, 5 p.m. at the TD Garden. For Go On Your Extreme, I'm Elizabeth Thomas and thank you for watching.